Okay, class, today what we're going to do is talk about systems of equations. So systems of equations are when you have several different two, three, even up to four um, different polynomials or equations, and it's where all of those equations intersect. So there's different ways to find or to find the solution for the systems. The first way is through graphing. So when I have a graph and I have two different lines, so I have the green line and the red line, where these two lines cross, that's the solution. That means that that point right there will satisfy both the red equation and the green equation. So graphing can be a real easy way to find the solution of an equation, but if it's not an exact value, then it's very hard to find. So we're going to find a, a different way. The first way is called substitution. So we're going to solve an equation using substitution. Right now, again, systems of equations, it's with two, three, usually two or three equations, sometimes four, uh, more. We're going to stick with just two equations to be able to solve for, and then we'll go from there. So when I say solve for, what I want is I'm always going to find a point, okay? So the point is where the two lines cross. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the one point where that value the address to that point will satisfy both equations. So if we have an equation that looks like this, okay, so here's our system. So we have two equations. We have one that's set up in standard form. We have another one that's set up in the y equals form. So whenever you see that kind of setup where you have one variable solved already, that should be an indicator that you're going to use substitution to solve. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, I'm going to take out this y, I'm going to take out this y, and I'm going to plug in the value that y equals. So I'm substituting, I'm taking this y out, and I'm substituting in the other value. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be 2x plus 3 times this value right here, and then equals 5. So all I did is I took out this y, and I plugged in this y. And now you have a straight equation, one unknown, and you're able to solve for it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, and I'm going to simplify this. Uh, 3 times negative x is a negative 3x. 3 times 4 is 12. And now I'm just going to solve. So I have a negative x plus 12 equals 5. And now I'm going to solve for x by subtracting 12. So I end up with negative x equals a negative 7 and then divide by negative 1. So x is going to equal 7. Now, remember the solution means I have an x and a y involved. So all I have is an x. So the way that I found, find my y value is I use my x and I substitute it back into here so that I can solve for y. This is already set up for y, so y equals. So all I have to do is take my 7, plug it into where the x is, and solve. So y equals negative 3. So for this one, my solution is 7 and negative 3. And that substitution, you just plug one into the other, and you're good to go.